Hello and welcome to Plato's Caves Online once again. Today we have with us Ruud van Woudenborg from Netherlands. He was born in Netherlands, but he says he was reborn in India. Welcome, Ruud. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming with us today. Yes, it's my pleasure. Yeah, it's our pleasure too. So you said that you were in India. What took you to India? Poo, 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 poo. Well, I've read a little bit about it and uh, well, only the name already, you know, is very good. And yes, in Holland, you know, you don't have much uh, different landscapes. So this is the first thing you do when you're 18 or something. You go far away. The forest, the better. <laughs> so you went to uh, India, like you took a flight from India, from Netherlands, or did you like go by road? Yes, flying is very below my uh, standards. Okay. <laughs> yes. No, when you're flying, you go just from one room to another. Very true, very and true. And you miss a lot. And you have other experience then. No, by land is good. Okay. By land, even in your own country, there are much different people, different languages, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I remember nearly every day after Greece, I thought, well, this must be the end. It cannot be that it, can, that it will be much more different. And this was only in Istanbul. Ah, almost at the center. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, by the Bosporus. Yeah. By the bridge, yes. Yes. The, but I remember very well we went in the, in the evening and it was night when we arrived in uh, Asia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. As, as Ruth says that, you know, he, he, he thought that, you know, Nothing can get more different than this. Knowing Rood would, you would say the same, because he's an all-around artist. He's a poet, a writer, a passionate travel writer, uh, a painter, a player of various instruments, especially the flute. And I would like to ask Rood, how does your travels reflect in your writings or in your other creations? Mm. Nearly every time. Because thinking is also depending on uh, associations. And w when you travel you have different associations like at home. So you um, you take care that when something new is there, that you can uh, refer, check it on what you had. And if you had it from different countries, this is very good. Okay. I, I, I would like uh, you to share with the readers, what was it like to bring out the very first collections of your paintings, as well as the first collection of your writings here in Europe? Um, you mean when it started that I didn't only write for myself? You mm -hmm. mean? Yes, yes. Or only paint for myself? Yes. But the communication. Mm -hmm. uh, to tell you the truth, this was a miracle. Was it? Yes, I remember I had something in the newspaper and about the hospital where I worked. And I've been writing about the people who are in the hospital, the patients they call it. And it was hanging in the restaurant of the people who worked there. And then I remember that uh, one of the, the sisters, the hospital sisters, she was just standing with the hands here in the interval of the work and she was reading this, which means she was experiencing. 
Very true. And this is this is incredible. Okay. This is not about the quality of writing, but that it happens. This exchange. Do you do you, do you when I hear you talk? Uh, do you feel that uh, writing has a lot to do with spontaneity, or it is also a craft that needs to be honed, a skill that needs to be sharpened? Mm, both. 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 Yes, both. Which would you say is the greater percentage? Well, I'm not an expert on it. I just do it for fun. And um, let's say the first draft. And then later you analyze it a little bit more. The first draft is spontaneous. And then the, the skill is coming mm -hmm. and working on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when when you are working on a piece you you use the same method of you know spontaneous writing free writing of some sort and then editing it out till you think that this is chiseled enough to be presented to others yes yes or uh, hey what about reading to other people okay then you get good feeling mm. yes okay reading it to other people then it brings you much also Mm -hmm. I remember when I, just three, four or five people, you know, and then I was reading a piece that I had written and then I realized that some things are uh, funny. I didn't know at all. This is one thing. And other things are uh, dramatic. I didn't know at all, you know. But when you read it to some people, or to one people, you know, even if you read it aloud, then you come across this thing and you can, uh, you can work on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When, when I see your paintings also, I feel there is a sense of performance in it, you know, as you say, like when you interact with a person uh, at a personal level, talking about the poem or performing the poem, reading out the poem itself. Mm -hmm. you get a sense of feedback but when I see your paintings also uh, I feel that there is these stories that are performing in the domain of in the two dimensions of the paper and the paint uh, is it something that you do consciously again or is it something uh, that is spontaneous only um, the, the painting I I capture a moment which is interesting for me. I capture the moment and then I, I work on it and the moment is telling me things during the painting. Okay. I can give an example from India. Maybe I have it on me. I think so. Oh, he has one of his paintings I also. Think so, but uh, these paintings see. will be available at the Plato's Caves online blog. Uh, you could go there and see them for yourselves once again when you have the time for it. Yeah, I have it here. Well, look at this painting. Can you see it? Go yes, like yes, this? yes, oh. yes. This is better. Yeah. You see at least two persons. Yeah. Yeah, two uh, persons, two individuals. Something. Yeah, yeah. They are okay. I don't tell much. I tell in a few minutes what it was originally. When I look at it now, mm -hmm. it is like maybe two sisters shopping you know, in a city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And <coughs> she's giving some money, it eh? looks like money. Mm -hmm. Maybe to buy something, a hat or something. She sees something spontaneously. Okay, this is the painting. Mm -hmm. And this will hang somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. or in, maybe somebody buys it, maybe not. But what was the moment that I captured? Okay. Good. Um, I was in the bus in Kuwahati, in Assam, in India. Mm -hmm. Then 
the bus stopped, you know, and uh, continued. And you know, in <coughs> Kuhawati, the, the bus drivers, the bus uh, controllers, they are not so... Uh, they do like this on the roof, you know. Yes, and yes. It's very, very alive and strong. And uh, okay, so I looked out of it. There were two beggars, blind beggars. I saw them, and they had the money. And the one checked the money with feeling, and felt this is this banknote. Or, oh, this, ah. this. They, they felt it. It's crazy. Okay. So I captured the moment and when I was, uh, let's call it at home in uh, Kohati, I put it on the paper and no disturbing because I've captured the moment and now I have to uh, find out what's in it, that it was so important. And this came out of it and... Uh, hmm. Is for me it's a uh, it's much worth. Okay. Yeah. I nobody would identify. Maybe I even sorry. Excuse me. Maybe mm -hmm. I even cut into, and then we get into a word which is everywhere in the world different or lost. Maybe I cut to the souls of them, of these two. But maybe you did. Be. Maybe you did because the first thing that. Uh, I would notice is their mm -hmm. bright eyes in the okay. paintings Yes. when you show the painting to us mm -hmm. but then you tell me that the moment you captured was of two blind beggars yes, and it it's stunning that there is this element of uh, surprise mm -hmm. and this element of being uh, taken aback you know they are as much taken aback as I guess the viewers Oh, I see. Watch yeah. this painting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, very. That's actually why I paint and how I paint. Mm -hmm. And um, could you show us something else also from your painting book? Yeah, I look at this one. Here. Okay, let's see this one. Here, yeah, let's see this one. Yeah, we can see that very well. So, eh? Yeah. You can see it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What is the story behind this painting? Okay. Can you see this here? Yeah. This one over here. Yeah. Yeah. It should be the lock from a door. Okay. You know, if you want to get it out. Yeah. And here are keys. Okay. So I think this guy, he has a moustache, so it's a guy. He uh, should check out his thinking the heart. Was this also inspired by someone you saw? should be a, a self-portrait oh. and this lock yeah has the key over here yeah wow do you ever do you see both you see the key also? yes 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 yeah and here let's see do you ever put hey. them side by side and you know do you see the key yes i do <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's you I play pl around with uh, no play you call it playing for me it's very serious but the playing is very serious freud said look, that look at, uh, <laughs> who's this <laughs> he's not born in alakmar <laughs> Yeah, look at this. Yeah, beautiful. And many more. Yeah, you say I'm playing, but um, you know when you go 
for a long time traveling. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm. When you go for a long time traveling, you take your passport. You do you take your passport with you? When yeah, you of course. Traveling? Yes, okay. Yeah. Me too. And when you have one, and uh, and so on, and so on, and this and that, and then you put everything away except for what you really need. Okay, and then you go. But. You need an anchor, you know, like a ship when you're on the way. A memory or whatever, a very nice experience at home or wherever you leave and so on and so on. So I had everything together as less as possible. And then I saw this thing, the key, somewhere, you know, this I take as anchor. This. Mm. So everywhere I was, I had the key, not the key itself, but this thing, how do you call it, the key? The knob, the keyhole. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I had, a, I was forgotten it, that I have it, but I have it on a good place in the back. And I also thought, okay, I will not write, I will only paint. And when I have no desire to paint, I put this key thing somewhere before somebody or in the landscape and let's see what happens then. Okay. So this is how it okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's how it happened. It it's 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 like you you anchor yourself wherever you're going. Yes. In some sort of way. You do this, yeah. you do this, but uh, now it was very, uh, how do you call it, very visual, very practical. Mm -hmm. And you can have it like this, you know, mm -hmm. like, like other people when they play poker, you know. They yeah, have, they shake their hands and then let it roll. Yeah. Something like that. Something like this. Is there any sort of anchor image that is there in your mind when you are writing? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. When I'm writing a song, you mean? When I'm writing uh, a story? When I'm writing poetry? Or let's, let's focus on poetry at All the right. beginning. Great, yeah. great, great. Uh, and anger, oh my. I think the breathing. Mm-hmm. The breathing. Yes, you're yeah. writing, you are excited or you are uh, disappointed or whatever, you are tired or whatever. And you are writing, that's why you start writing. But then there comes the point, and you don't notice it, that the breathing is at home. And this, this is what, what means a lot. Yes. Mm. Is it, is and it's it also that says, okay, continue, continue. At least the moment is uh, supreme. Mm. Is, it, is it therefore no surprise that you're also doing yoga in oh. your life? Uh, because uh, breathing is such an important aspect of yoga also. Well, Do you maybe, but I, I read in... Uh, <coughs> I read also by somebody who's doing calligraphy. Yeah. And then I read also that he had this with the breathing, mm -hmm. that the calligraphy brings it to him. Mm -hmm. And the other way. Yoga is very, very interesting, very good, yes. Yeah. I think, I think uh, what you do with your words and with your uh, paintings, Mm -hmm. uh, with your colors, with your, uh, you know, use of pen, use of uh, lines and stuff. You, when I look at it from the perspective of an outsider, mm -hmm. yeah, I see that, you know, you have these elements that, these images that appear and reappear time and again. So... Do you think that is also a very conscious thing that happens with you or is it something like a flow 
in which you are there and you know they appear and you just grasp it and put it on paper. Well, maybe it's the opposite. It comes from outside. Yes. And yes. is is asking for it, asking for it. Very true. Is is showing. Mm -hmm. From uh, take your chance, you can put me. Uh, it's like an open invitation. It's an invitation completely. Yes. It's an open invitation. And it's also uh, it's also funny that you uh, how do you call it you mm, you don't accept the invitation. Yes, yes. And I found out when I do this. For instance, it goes very very clever. Eh? It says, "Oh, this you cannot draw. Mm -hmm. This perspective is is impossible." Okay, no, then you travel on or whatever you do. But when you can just do it then, that's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that brings something. Mm -hmm. But I'm not an expert, okay? Yeah, that's, that's absolutely fine. We are mm -hmm. not looking for expertise, but we are looking for experiences. Mm. So that uh, brings me to the next point that I would like to ask you. When, when you are not writing when you are not painting is there a day job that keeps you busy a day job oh, i i have had i think more than 100 jobs oh yeah. can you share some of them with us okay mm. not one time i was out of money and um, this was in uh in, uh, is this already the Himalaya, Himachal Pradesh? Yes. Yes, it was in the Himalaya. Mm -hmm. And um, I was in a small village, 300 houses, actually from refugees, from Tibetan refugees. I wanted to stay there one night, but it turned out to be that I stayed there for four months. Um, and I had no money. I had money. And my father had sent it. I, I worked in... Uh, oh, this is also a, a very chapter, interesting chapter. With airplanes. I cleaned airplanes in the night in Holland. Okay. So I saved uh, enough money. And my father sent it to daily to the bank. And... Uh, from the bank they would send it to Paprola, this is in, in India. Okay. Yes. And the, the postmaster, he said to me, every week I came there and I said, is my money already there? And he said, no, no, he said, but <coughs> chai. <laughs> he was very glad that he could speak with uh, so somebody who had studied, he thought. I, I, I didn't study. Uh, okay, but we had nice time and he always said, well, I must tell you, this money from you will never come here. Okay. It's, uh, I said, yeah, but it's ordered and it's there. Yes, but uh, I ordered it also for you, but you have to go to Delhi. Okay. And you have, with your fist, you have to turn on the bank, otherwise it never, you get never it. I said, yes, but I don't go to Delhi. I stay here. I like it here. Okay. Then I was back in the refugee village and uh, without money. How did you survive? Happened to be a, a nun, you know, a Buddhist nun. And she came from Holland. Okay. And she lived more up on the mountain and she said she needs a, uh, it sounds all symbolic, it was just a hell of a lot of work. Uh, she needed a town, a, a gate uh -huh. around a house because uh, the yogis come from Tibet and they stay here uh, anyway because of the animals she needs. And the fence, yeah. Oh, very good. And somebody else was working there already, an uh, Indian guy, and um, we would do that together. She said, here is the barbed wire, 
and here are the bolts yes so okay you do that together and there was one the proof that it can because the bottom was really rock mm. and there was the proof one was already there okay <laughs> and she said so you you make it like this and uh, then you get some food okay next moment she was gone and she started omni omni padma omni 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 and my Indian colleague yes he said to me he didn't we didn't talk our language but he said to me <laughs> and then, then we started to work okay so yes was the question you know there was a big uh, a pickles you say in Germany this yeah yeah like this and this very dangerous with one part you had to make a hole and with the other part of it you have to to hammer it mm -hmm. so one must have it here and mm. the other one will must. hammer it oh. so we were standing there on the top of the mountain and who will take like this and who will do like this oh. okay but we managed next day um, I think two o'clock in the afternoon or something we had the agreements next day I was there and I was so glad I have a job you know for me it was the proof that you can go everywhere and even if you don't have money you can make a living you are not depending on the circumstances it's more the opposite the circumstances are depending on your this is good next day i came there and the nun was also there and uh, then she said where, where is the indian man the indian guy I looked on the mountain and then she said well probably he has a marriage again and I made the whole thing in the end alone okay and so I could stay three months okay in exchange of that you get food and yes yes lodging. yes yes and this was only a few hours uh, working okay when was this in when was this uh, 1975 or 76. Okay, wow. Unbelievable story. It's, it's reality, it's reality. Yeah, when, when I say unbelievable story, it comes to me that, you know, when you are around Root, you know that uh, he's a mobile library of books all the time and a mobile library of stories that he has had in his real life. Uh, I, I would like to ask you, like, what is keeping you busy more these days? Is it writing or is it paintings? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I said to myself, I forbid myself painting. Yeah. Okay. It's forbidden to paint. Because painting is a... Um, it's a very bodily thing, you know. It's it's like you move a little bit more, you know, when you paint. And it's of course it's also connecting with the with the blood and probably with the heart also. So it's a very lively thing. And you can move a lot, yeah. Writing is more uh you have to um like a knight, you know, you have to go in a harness. Uh -huh, the and armor and get yes, ready for yes, it. And, and you have to get on the horse also. This is good. You are together with the horse, not alone. But it's a bit, you know. Restricted in yes, some form. Yes, 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 yes. And you also, you know, when you paint, you, you can show it. Or at least you can show that you do something when you write, you know. When, you know this. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> the people are, when, when you say one time to somebody, <laughs> so, and what did you do? They, they say to you, uh, they played golf on Saturday, and then they, they, they played with the canoe, they played down the things. And then you say, whoa, beautiful. And then they say, and what did you do? When you say it one time, well, uh, on Saturday I was writing. Oh, interesting. What are you writing? Mm, good, good. And on Sunday, 
I was also writing. Ah, okay, because you were not ready on Saturday. On Saturday. And this is every weekend. Yes, yes. <laughs> so true, so true. It's it's actually true that, you know, on, you know, on, yes. on, on one of the... Uh, I was participating in one crazy thing called this ma- poetry marathon. Okay. And I was also on that day invited at a birthday party of my son's friend. Yes. And so I was there, but I told the parents, maybe sometimes I'll sneak away a little to write. And one of the parents said, you are crazy. You are crazy. On a Saturday afternoon in summer, you are writing when we are having a picnic. Yeah, yes. Made up. Like, That's what he said. <laughs> like you had punishing work from the from the school. You know? <laughs> yeah, homework yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not homework. Uh, I may not write during the children party, you know, a thousand sentences. So what happened to you banning yourself from painting? Why did you do okay. that? Yes, uh, no, because, you know, uh, I was used to go in the night, three o'clock or something, to paint. This is beautiful, really. And uh, I was so used to do this and also at daytime and at daytime looking for what to paint or the other way. The outside world looked for me to be painted. Okay, okay, okay. So you are in this and this is very nice. This is like swimming in an endless river and small brooks and so on. So I had to put myself in the harness, you know, to, to write. This took years, I tell you. It's, you can stop it with you. Like. No, 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 it's fine. Made it took really years. Okay. I, I did write in uh, libraries or in uh, cafe houses, you know. But this thing, I must tell, because of the computer, I don't know in India, but in Holland it's um, dying out. Somebody who is writing by hand, hand in yeah. a in a coffee house. Mm, yeah. So really, um, I was a long time not in Amsterdam, and in the coffee houses where I wrote, and this is not only hashis. This is also you know, real coffee houses or original, and then. Um, other people were also writing and reading newspaper or you read a book. Now there are even not much people with a tablet or with a laptop. But when somebody is re- really writing, the owner, he said after some time, uh, hmm, this interests me what you are writing. But not because he is uh, literature minded. No, he was thinking I was from the control of the hills. Ah! If everything is, uh, not one time. Several times. Yes, 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 yes. And not only by him, but also. So it's got to be something technical, not something it's artistic some that you can write by hand. No, it's dying out, yes. Yeah, yeah. So what happened to you banning yourself from painting? Did it succeed? It succeeded. And what is the result well, of well, that? Uh, but no, let's first talk about how it succeeded. Okay. I caught, this is something, uh, an illness uh, from the 21st century, Corona. Mm-hmm. I caught. They told me I have Corona by, by the handy and I had to stay indoors. And uh, let's say a week or so, 10 days. And indoors, by me, I have all these manuscripts mm-hmm. that, that I didn't uh, work out. Okay. All these manuscripts that I always... Uh, well, I was in the right place, the Tibetan refugees. I was always a ref- refugees of my own depth. Okay. And during the corona, I had to write some things. Uh, which I always uh, postponed. was too much for me. Mm-hmm. Why, why, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm very glad. And now I will continue some time. Okay. Some time means some years. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is done the writing phase again. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, to yes. say. Yes. It's time to write. Yeah. It's time to write. <laughs> so he says. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Ruth, for having an enchanting conversation with us. No, thank you, Susmita, really. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. And no, I would ways. like to let the viewers once again know that uh, his paintings and, uh, if possible, some of your writings maybe yes, well, will be available on the blog yeah, 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 yeah. for you to read. For sure. For you to experience. Thank you. And have a good day. Thank you.